surviving the obstacles and ups and downs. Let me give you a couple tips from Jim, Jim Trussell that he gave me yesterday. And I, I know some of you guys like football and know Jim Trussell. Some of you guys don't know Jim Trussell from, from Jim Pretzel, okay? <laughs> but Jim's a wise man that got a lot of championships under his belt. So here's what Jim talked to me about in overcoming adversity and obstacles. First thing he said, I see some of you guys not taking no notes, and I'm cool with that, but you might have a photographic memory. I don't have one of those. Here's what, here's what coach told me. He said, the first thing that I do and that I've done is put things into perspective and formulate an attitude of gratitude. After 10 years of coaching the Ohio State Buckeyes, three national championships, beating Michigan every year, multiple bowl game wins, he says, what I did after I got fired after 10 years is I went back, I stepped back. Oh, I see you. Didn't know that was coming up there. That was yesterday. You see, Coach got the A on, too. This is the, this is the shirt that I handed out to you guys. I sent him one because he inspired this. The test of greatness and the hallmark of excellence is consistency. Anybody can be great for a week. Anybody be, could be great for a game. Anybody can be great for a season. But if you want to be great, you got to be great consistently. And so I sent him that shirt, and he, when he opens his door, he walks out with this. He replaced the sweater vest with the Arius Agency's A. And, and, and so the first thing he said is I step back and I go to gratitude. I'm grateful. He said, I'm grateful I had 10 years to coach at the Ohio State University. Not everybody has a chance to coach at that level. It was a dream come true for me. My mom died three years before I had a chance to coach my first game at Ohio State. I was grateful to have that opportunity. I'm grateful that I have great kids. I'm grateful that I have a great supportive wife in, my, uh, in Ellen. I'm grateful for, I'm, I, I'm grateful. So he said, the first thing you need to do when you're going through a down period is you look back at how much that you have. There's usually somebody that would die to be in your shoes. And so it's putting things into perspective of an attitude of gratitude is first. And the second one is controlling what you can control. So many people use so much energy on things they can't control. Be it what another person has to think about you, what another person has to say about you, what's already happened, what's already transpired, the ball you already dropped, the ball you already fumbled, the tackle you already missed, the shot that you already missed, and they can't focus their energy on the comeback because they're so focused on getting down. Somebody would die to be in your shoes. Um, and, and then I just want to close on this. The guy, that, the, the coach that asked for that painting, he sent me a, a scripture this morning. Uh, Ray, uh, uh, or Brian Merrill, his, his brother is the coach, one of the coaches at Kentucky right now. And uh, it was Galatians 6, 9. And it said, let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. And so there's, there's times in your life where if you're helping people or you're serving people or you're doing work good, you start to get drained and tired because you may not feel appreciated. You may not see the harvest. You're not reaping what it is that you're putting in. Uh, but I want to encourage you because it encouraged me. Galatians 6, 9. Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. So don't give up. Keep doing. Keep fighting a good fight. Appreciate you guys. Let's rock and roll.